Hey everybody, Brian here. In this video, I wanna show you this car here. This is a 2017 Hyundai Tucson, but this one's slightly unusual because it's petrol. So many of these cars are diesel. This one's actually a petrol version. I think it's fair to say somebody that's looking for a petrol car like this, they're probably not doing much long-term driving. They do a lot of short stop-start driving and that's why they want to avoid buying the diesel version and they prefer petrol instead because they don't have, I suppose they don't need to be driving out the motorway to keep the diesel particulate filter clear. That's what's good about something like this. You can do a lot of short stop-start driving and not have to worry about it. Anyway, in this video, we'll have a quick look at the features on the outside of the car and the inside of the car, and then we'll go for a drive in the car. So by the end of the video, you'll know exactly what comes with this car. If you're in Ireland and you're looking to buy this car, 086-843-1945, Brian is my name. Or if you're watching on YouTube and you want to find out more about this particular type of car, if the car is still here at the time when you ask the question, I'll do my best to answer the question. Just let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, apologies about having to use the workshop just this time here. It's hard to get natural daylight because uh, it's busy. So uh, the whole video won't be based inside. I'm just gonna show you a couple of bits and pieces on the car I like, and then we'll do a bit more tomorrow when it's bright. So uh, things I like on the front of these, when you're looking at them, I like the way, this is such a stupid thing, right? But it's something I like. I like the fact you can have the daytime running lights on down low in the bumper, and then you can actually have the parking lights over here. I just think it looks really nice. These two suns, when they come out, they were super aggressive with that big grill on the front, and people love the shape and they still do. They're aging really well. Things you might notice immediately up front, that grill is a slightly different color, but it's like a brushed aluminum sort of uh, polished dark silver finish. Uh, and then after that, uh, like we're saying, it has these really nice DRLs down through here. And then this really cool looking big long parking light down the side over through here. For anyone thinking about buying this exact car, then uh, it's actually got some NCT until July of 2023. The wheels in the car then are a 16 inch alloy wheel. They look quite smart but actually they're quite an easy wheel in terms of replacing tires. They're not an expensive tire to replace. So as an SUV goes, it's going to be a pretty straightforward car to run when it comes to servicing. Servicing on a Tucson like this is going to be once every year or 15,000 kilometers. And the engine that's in these cars has been extremely robust over the last couple of years. And that's because it's a really straightforward engine. Turbo diesel engines are really complex. They have intercoolers, they have turbos. This petrol engine is really straightforward engineering. It's a very, very reliable unit. So they're about 130 horsepower. Realistic fuel efficiency on a car like this, drive it nice and easy. You're at about 6.5 liters, which is mid 40s miles per gallon, but obviously drive it on and then that'll change. Um, but one thing I like about it, it's a very straightforward, easy engine um, and very, very reliable. Another thing on this car is it actually comes standard with these roof rails up high, which are the silver brushed aluminum rails each uh, side. What's useful about that is you can put two bars across them and that allows you then to put a roof box up on top. So they actually come standard. The car will feature a lot of color coding. So things like wing mirrors and door handles, they're all the exact same color. There's a nice roof mounted spoiler along the rear, which again is color coded too. And the rear of the car then, uh, these two sons, like the front, they have this really nice, tough, symmetrical looking shape on the rear. Parking sensors are actually standard on the back of this car. And then you'll see when we get inside, there's actually a good level of specification on the inside. And it's just a really sharp, smart looking vehicle. In terms of how these cars drive, I mean, the first thing I suppose is, it's a nice elevated driving position. So there's good visibility all the way around. You sit nice and high if you want, you don't have to. The dashboard, as you'll see as we go through the car, it's really straightforward, really intuitive, really easy to use. And in terms of how the car drives, things like the steering and the clutch and brakes and all that kind of stuff, they all feel good. Uh, like presenting the car, I suppose we would have sold it originally and we have a service history for the car. And we've just done a good service on the car to have it ready for the next owner, so it's in good shape. Um, the gearbox is actually really nice in these cars when you're driving them. So I suppose this car is really suitable for somebody that does a lot of urban, short, stop-start driving and they don't want a diesel engine next time around. The interior seats that have been sitting on, they're a dark, hard-wearing nylon sort of finish. There is a height adjuster for the height of the driver's seat and that steering wheel then is rake reach, which means it goes in and out as well as up and down so you can get a nice driving position. The driver's door then will have four electric windows, central locking in through here, electric uh, controls for the mirrors. And then in terms of the controls I've been using, I love the clocks on Tucson, they're big and bright. They remind me years ago of what the, and I really used to like them on uh, older Toyotas and Lexus and stuff like that, just big, white, bright round clocks. Over here, I have a trip computer, which is changing information in here, average speed, tire pressures, fuel efficiency, that kind of information down through there. This is cruise control, so you can set and maintain your speed on the motorway and take your foot off the accelerator. Over through here then there's Bluetooth, so you can answer calls, but the important thing then for a lot of people these days is you can stream music using Bluetooth as well, or if you want, there is a USB connector down through here, and the USB connector then will allow you to charge uh, devices 
and also again play music so there's kind of two ways of playing music air conditioning will be standard on the car and you know what i really love maybe if you've watched any videos i have i love simple straightforward stuff screens look lovely but i promise you they are much harder to use when you're driving a car so this along here if i want to speed up the fan i turn this if i want to go warm or cold i turn that if i want the air to blow in certain ways i turn that and the radio um does exactly what i wanted to do yes it's basic but uh i can use bluetooth like we talked about for streaming music or taking calls if i want to use the radio i have these big buttons as my uh, favorites and presets or i can manually tune it's so quick it is i promise you this is way faster than using a big fancy screen the car is also going to have parking sensors so when i go back towards something it's going to make noise do you know what right this car safety wise driver passenger curtain airbag side airbags side impact protection beams emergency brake distribution emergency, really good safety features overall in the car as there is in most modern cars these days um good level of spec but simple straightforward stuff if you're looking for a pragmatic car nice high driving position reliable straightforward engine reliable straightforward interior features this is reliable straightforward motoring that's what i really like about it i like driving cars like these because it's easy to use stuff nothing fancy no frills it's straightforward reliable motoring in the rear of the car then, electrics in through here, which are child lockable uh, safety, or sorry, rear seat obviously has a child lock. Three head restraints, three three-point safety belts, good, easy, accessible, eyes of fix on both sides because most people that buy these kind of cars, they a lot of the time have family. There is an armrest in through the center there. I think condition's actually very nice on this car overall. Things like we'll say there is some storage in the rear of each seat along through there. And in terms of size in the rear, uh, the headroom's actually really good. Uh, I'm six foot, so even if I sit up, like in a way I never would, I still have good room, uh, really good room. Look at the leg room I have. Uh, and see the way they're in, there's a kind of indentation on them. So even if someone let that seat back, my knees have a kind of area along here that sort of gives me a bit more space. Condition's nice back here, space is good as well. Uh, and the other thing is the seats have a reclining function. I'll just show you on the reclining. So the boot, obviously, it's an SUV. Yes, the boot is excellent. It's large. And a bonus on these, they have a full-size spare wheel. Right, back to the reclining function. If I move back the back tray to setting two, I can then use this handle here on the rear seat. And that allows me then to recline either of the rear seats. So it doesn't look like much, right? But look at that gap there. And I can push the other one back in the same way. When you sit into a car that's reclined that much, this is savage. Like... This is really comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I look, no point me telling you, it doesn't look like much, but it makes it makes a really big difference if you're on a long journey. This is actually lovely. Anyway, so there you have it. That is our 2017 Hyundai Tucson 1.6 GDI Comfort. If there's any information you want on this car, Brian is my name, 086-843-1945. Just call, text, WhatsApp, and I'll be happy to go through everything on the car, trading in your car or financing. And we are a family-run business in operation for almost 70 years. Hopefully the car is of interest. Hopefully the video has been useful. Thanks for watching.